here is a question that I got recently. Uh, I'm looking for looking out for a Java program to check the window services which are started. And uh, that's uh, like, uh, you know, if you go to win start run and services.msc, uh, you see a list of uh, uh, services. services. And uh, to check that in Java programs, and there might be other ways as well, but one thing that came to me is that uh, running a Windows command called net start, uh, which gives the list of all the Windows services that are started. So if I can execute this command from Java and get a list of each of these, then that would serve this purpose. Uh, first of all, we have to check whether the operating system that your Java program currently running is uh, Windows. And that I'm doing by saying something like uh, string OS equals system.get properties of OS.name dot to lowercase so you don't have to check that with you know with the confusion of whether it's there in uppercase lowercase and all the stuff and I want to check if OS dot starts with windows in lowercase then I'm going to do else probably I say that system dot out dot printl and this program runs only in windows and uh, in case if it is Windows now how do I execute this command and uh, in order to execute a command so we we say runtime dot get runtime get a runtime instance and exec the command net start now when this command gets executed mm, the result return value of this is a process object so we'll just say process from java.lang p equals this and this requires a try catch let's put that try catch for handling any kind of exceptions and uh, print the stack trace if there is any problem now that i get the process uh, i need to know what was the outcome of this command was it successful uh, if it's successful what's the output if it was unsuccessful what's the errors in order to check that this process object encapsulate an input stream and output stream and I can say here now something like uh, buffered input stream or rather buffered reader in equals new buffered reader of I can say new input stream reader this is required because the p object provides a function called get input stream and you can see that it's a stream and I can't construct a reader object out of that so we use an input stream reader now that I got this in I just have to check that so I'll say here string text and I say while text equals in dot read line not equals to null so until the end of the the input stream keep reading a text line and you say here this is the command so I'll say here text and uh, that's it and I say in dot close to close the stream and when I run the same I would be getting this output and as you can see I get the list of all the programs 